In this basic scripting tutorial for Roblox Studio, you are going to learn about types and values. Let's open a new script in server script service. By finding server script service in our explorer, clicking the plus sign, typing in script, and selecting script. Next, we have a script that opens up and it says print hello world. If we play our game, you can see in our output, it says hello world. Let's press the stop button and go back to our script. And since we're talking about types and values, and today we're gonna learn what type definition this hello world in quotations actually is. And you can already see that Roblox here is telling us that it's a string. But let me show you how to find out if we don't really know. So Lua is a dynamically typed language and every value carries its own type. So for instance, if before this hello world, we type in type of open parentheses, and then we close the end quotation there with an end parentheses. And then I have to close it again because it overwrote that last parentheses. And now we have print type of hello world. Let's see what the output shows when we click play. So now in the output, we see that it says string. Let's click stop. And now we know that the type value of this hello world is a string. Anything in quotation marks, it's safe to assume is a string value. Let's take a look at another type. Let's do print type of, and in here we'll type in something like two plus two, which we know is four. So what type of value would the number four be? Oh, look, it says number. But let's confirm this by clicking play. And now you can see that we have string and number. Going back to our code, we know that this value is a string and we know that this value is a number. Now, I'm just curious on our next line here, what kind of value type is this print? So we're pretty much finding out this print function. What value type is it? Let's click play and find out. So would you look at that? It's function line three of our script. Let's press stop. And so we know this value type is a function. Here's another value type. We could do print type of true. We can also copy and paste this and we can make this false. And we can see what value type this is. The script is telling us that those are Boolean type values. Anytime you see a true or false, you'll know that it's a Boolean. Another common type value that we are going to run into very often is a value called nil. And let's see what type value this is. And as you can see, this is a nil type value. So we'll comment this as nil. So the nil type value is meant to be different from every other value. You'll see the usefulness of nil in various tutorials throughout your learning experience. You can actually print the type of a type of. So the function type of will always return a string value. So we can prove this by clicking play. And after our nil value, you can see that our line six is a string. So if we go to line six here, we know that the type of value of a type of, of like two plus two is always a string. Type of always returns a string. That's why we got string. So we'll comment string there. The next type we can have is um, type of, and then let's go ahead and put curly braces in there. And if we play this, the value that we get is a table. So anytime you see curly braces, that means that that's a table. And a lot of times in a table, there's data inside of it. So that could be data inside of our table. It doesn't matter what data is inside of here. This value type is a table. So we'll comment table there. Other types that we can check, we can check the type of, of the workspace. So let's see what type value the base plate is, for example. And we can see that our base plate type is an instance. So we'll comment instance right there. Next, we'll take a look at the type value of the base plate dot texture and see what it gives us. It is also an instance. So we'll comment instance there. And these are the various types and values that we'll run into when we're scripting in Roblox Studio in Lua. This type of function is unique to Roblox Lua. What regular Lua uses is actually the type function, not the type of. And so it would actually return the same value if we put quotation marks, hello world there, and it would print the same value for two plus two. But then when we check the value of say game.workspace.baseplate, let's take a look at what that returns. So on line 11, we have a string and that matches line one. And on line 12, we have number and that matches line two. And then line 13, we have user data when it should actually be an instance. So Lua, as 
as a base language is unable to read this user data and tell us what type it is. So Roblox provided us with a type of function that would tell us that a base plate or a texture of the base plate is an instance. These are the various types and values that we're gonna be dealing with while you're going on your scripting journey and learning with my videos. You can continue on the playlist or check out my channel for other videos that may interest you. Press the like button and I'll see you all next time.